Now that House control has been pretty much decided, a focus is shifting to the Senate runoff election in Georgia. The incumbent Senator, Raphael Warnock, and Herschel Walker have both already hit the campaign trail. So for more on this race, let's bring in Tia Mitchell. She's the Washington correspondent for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Good to see you. So earlier this week, Senator Warnock joined a group of uh, Georgia Democrats in a lawsuit that aims to overturn a rule limiting Saturday early voting in the runoff election. Ex explain that to us, because I think it's Georgia specific and it has to do with, with the holiday weekend. Yes, it has to do with the holiday weekend, but it also has to do with the very much shortened runoff window under Senate Bill 202. So the way the law is written in Georgia, and this precedes Senate Bill 202, it says that, you know, if there's a holiday within two days of a Saturday runoff, then you can't do it. And uh, Thanksgiving is falling within this runoff window. It's two days before that Saturday, but there's also another holiday in Georgia. It used to be a holiday named after former Confederate General Robert E. Lee, but that was changed a few years ago, but it remains a state holiday. That's the day after Thanksgiving. So um, again, within the two day window, initially the Secretary of State said, there would be Saturday early voting, but he said his attorneys went and looked at the law and they don't believe it's allowed. Now, what Senator Warnock and Democratic, uh, the Democratic Party said in its lawsuit is that that law only addresses primaries in general elections, not a runoff. So they say it's being misapplied to this runoff scenario. It wasn't an issue before because there was a nine week runoff period. There would have been other Saturdays for early voting. But in this four week runoff period, it does matter. So, Tia, there's been some infighting, as you know, among Republicans since former President Trump announced that he would be running for president again. Uh, if you look at the totality of the endorsements that former President Trump made, uh, many of those candidates lost their elections. Um, and so the question is, by announcing his candidacy for the presidency this early and by perhaps stumping even for Herschel Walker, uh, will that what will the dynamics of the race look like? I mean, there are Democrats now who will say to their supporters, get out there and vote for Herschel Walker. So I, I wonder if the Republicans are feeling a little squeamish about this because it doesn't seem like the Trump brand has done well in other races. It could have an impact here. Yeah, I don't think Republicans are particularly pleased that Donald Trump made his announcement. But as we know, the announcement kind of landed with a thud. I don't think it's really moving the needle one way or another, but it could be a distraction, particularly if President Trump decides to campaign with Herschel Walker. Now, thus far, he has not, not during the primary, not during the general election, and there's no indication he's coming down for this runoff period. So that probably helps uh, Herschel Walker. Um, I think Trump staying away kind of keeps him more neutralized in this runoff battle because it's not a secret that Herschel Walker and Donald Trump are very closely aligned. Those dynamics have not changed throughout this election season. Um, so turning now to the Georgia probe into allegations that uh, the former president, Donald Trump, tried to interfere with the state's ballot count after the 2020 election. Where does the investigation stand? We know that uh, North Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham is supposed to be testifying. I, I thought I read that he was testifying today, but I'm not sure. So what's happening with that? Yeah. Yes, um, as far as we know, Senator Graham um, should be testifying today. He's also coming to campaign with Herschel Walker today, so pulling double duty. Hmm. Um, but, you know, that probe is ongoing. That probe is, has long been considered the most serious threat that former President Trump faces when it comes to facing charges connected with his efforts to overturn the 2020 general election. Um, the former Governor Kemp testified um, this week. Cassidy Hutchinson, the former White House aide, testified yesterday. So they're starting to pull in higher profile um, folks that were either aligned with President Trump or remain aligned with President Trump as those prosecutors uh, try to uh, build their case with the special grand jury. You know, we don't ultimately know what will come out of it. But again, it seems like this is the one with, with the most teeth that is circling in most closely on former President Trump and his allies. 
Uh, Tia, thank you. I should say South Carolina, not North Carolina. Yes, that's right. Uh, Tia Mitchell, thank you very much. Thank you.